potential a neighborhood. Across the street, the same sentiment. Wendy Fraser and her friend Irmeen fled their apartment in a bit of a panic early Sunday, fearing there could be more explosions. Another vehicle hit into my vehicle and then I ran into the pole and then the other vehicle just took off. I didn't care at that time. All I was concerned about was getting out of the area. The two were picking up some belongings today, afraid to stay inside. The floor is very wobbly because we noticed that the roof downstairs has caved in, so we don't, because when we walk like this, it's very shaky. Further evidence of structural damage potentially. Too much for Wendy, who's now leaving for good. It's not safe here anymore. I can tell you've heard that a couple of times here, just talking to the residents who were forced out of their homes and now returning to find things like structural damage. No looting as far as I've uh, seen in front of the people I've talked to, but uh, there are many more homes behind me, of course, that people will be returning over the next few hours. All right, this is a residential neighborhood. Let's once again give you a refresher course of exactly where we are in the city of Toronto and where the facility is. The Sunrise Propane Company is located in this residential area on Murray Road, just north of the 401 in the Keel Street and Wilson Avenue area of North York. And yesterday, for the first time in decades, in fact, a large stretch of Canada's busiest highway, the 401, was shut down in both directions for safety reasons. It was closed from the 404, the DVP, all the way over to Highway 400. It was a traffic nightmare. This, of course, is a residential area. A lot of people I talked to today, and I'm sure a lot of people watching right now are saying, how could it be in this industrial, potential, dangerous company is in a residential neighborhood? Well, as you can imagine as well, there were calls today for restrictions to try to get rid of companies like Sunrise in this area. And the bigger question, could it have been prevented? Here's Jackson Prosper with that story. The massive explosion at Sunrise Propane showed just how dangerous a fuel depot can be, which is why those who live in the disaster zone are furious that the propane storage facility was ever approved in the first place. It was zoned for it to be there. It's okay and safe for whatever. And where's the answers now? The propane depot opened three years ago on land zoned medium industrial. But residents were never consulted or warned. City bylaws only required that a fence be put up around the tanks. Is it wise to have a propane facility of this kind immediately adjacent to uh, residential properties? Obviously, in light of what happened, the answer is no. Because the land was already zoned, the city claims it had no say about what was actually built. Propane storage is regulated by the province. The Sunrise Propane Depot was approved in 2005. Yeah, I can't comment at this point whether there's been any problems with that site. Toronto's mayor now calling for changes to bylaws to give the city a say over what gets built and where. The former community safety minister suggests going farther, requiring a 1.6 kilometer safety zone around all fuel depots. We've got to make sure that if it does happen, uh, that we have adequate precautions on the sites, but also adequate protection for the citizens. Those plans would be tough to enforce. For one, no one in Toronto is keeping track of how many potentially hazardous sites are located in residential areas. A fuel depot like this one is subject to regular investigations by the province's technical standards and safety authority. One of the big questions emerging as the investigation continues, just when did the last inspection take place? No one from the TSSA could answer that one for us today. Leslie? All right, Jackson Prosco live at Toronto City Hall tonight. Thank you, Jackson. Now, it's hard to believe, but this is not the first time there has been a large explosion like this one here in the province of Ontario. Last November, fireballs appeared in the skies over Bolton after a blast of the Caledon Propane Company. Debris was thrown hundreds of meters away from the site, and people were forced out of their homes and businesses on that day. It's believed that explosion began with a fire involving a catering truck at the company's loading dock. One person was injured. And in November of 2004, a similar story. Large explosions at another Caledon propane storage site. This one in Port Darlington, that's near Bowmanville, east of the GTA. There were no injuries that time, but evacuation orders were given for about 130 homes, and the 401 was also shut down in both directions for a short time in the immediate area. But the story of the day, of course, is what happened in Toronto at Sunrise Propane yesterday, and how is it in a city the size, Canada's largest city, that we don't know where there are such potentially dangerous, toxic accidents waiting to happen. The mayor, David Miller, will join us a little later in the newscast.
and I'll ask him exactly that. Are there other neighborhoods that have to worry? Stay tuned for that. But first, we'll throw it back to Anne-Marie in the studio for the rest of the day's news. Anne-Marie. Great coverage. Thanks, Leslie. We'll check in with you in a few minutes. But first, we want to take a look at the forecast. Anthony Farnell standing by. Anthony